shocking rise in anti-Sikh hate exposed in FBI report. An FBI report published on December 12th showed a 100 and 40% increase of anti-Sikh hate crimes in the United States from the previous year. So between 2020 to 2021, there was a 140% increase in anti-Sikh hate crimes. Sikhs comprise approximately 0.1% of the American population, with most of them living in coastal cities. One of the first well-known cases of anti-CK crimes was um, Balbir Singh Sodhi, who was killed by a man seeking revenge four days after the 9-11 attacks. Sikhs also face workplace discrimination, primarily due to their religiously mandated beards and turbans, which are stereotyped as associated with terrorism. Statistics show that Sikhs are subjected to secondary screenings by airport security during travel so frequently that in 2021, the Sikh coalition created an app called Fly Rights, which would lodge an official complaint to the Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, in real time. The report by the FBI was generated solely through the FBI's National Incident-Based Reporting System. However, nearly 7,000 out of the country's more than 18,000 departments did not submit any data on hate crimes, which suggests that the anti-seek hate crimes are severely underreported. So I want to, I want to touch on that for a second. So what's happening is that the FBI is transitioning to a new way of reporting hate crimes, and it's taking some time for a lot of um, districts and precincts to adopt this way of reporting, including cities that were not included in this most recent report because they did not adopt the new form of reporting are New York City and Los Angeles, which are some of the the two like largest cities in the US, if I'm not mistaken. And also a place where a lot of hate crimes happen, especially against like the Asian community. Um, and Sikhs are like primarily, you know, South Asian. Um, I'll, I'll highlight that, I'll address that in a second. Um, so what's happening is that this is probably, um, a very incomplete amount of data as the country adapts to this new reporting system. And so now Sikhs are, um, number two in terms of the most victimized of hate crimes in the United States. Um, Jewish people are still number one, unfortunately. And, um, always number one. They're always number one the one thing that no one wants first place in. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Um, so what I find very interesting is that I'm very interested about why we saw this dramatic increase between 2020 to 2021. Like there was a general rise in anti Asian hate crime, but because of the pandemic, but most of that was driven by stereotypes surrounding the pandemic in China. So that's more specifically targeting like East Asian people and sometimes like Pacific Islanders as well. But Sikhs are usually the victims of anti-Muslim bigotry and anti-Arab racism because Americans be stupid and they don't be realizing. Hey, that's racist. I mean, it's a nationality, okay? It's not a race. That's bigoted. Um, well, I, I can, I can take a moment, okay, to dunk on myself, okay, my, my, my own no, people you... on average, not knowing that they, they are misidentifying Sikhs as being Arab or Muslim, and so they're being targeted for these reasons based on stereotypes that they see in media. They think that that's the group that they belong to. And obviously, oh my God, if that was a correct assessment, that's a horrible thing to do anyways. I'm not like, oh no, this would be fine if they just got the right target. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, people yeah. Are, people were trying to point that out in the live chat. That's not, Susanna already knows that. Like, I don't like the fans like, oh, make sure you get it right. <laughs> make sure, like, that's not what we're saying. Okay, we're like, nobody pointing out that they are trying to be anti-Muslim bigots, and they're getting um, Sikhs by mistake. We're not suggesting <laughs> that if they had gotten the right people, then it's this fine. Be, what? That is okay. You got it. You got it. You were educated. You. This is educated bigotry. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> you got it correct. <laughs> so no, we're not saying that. <laughs> That's horrible. Um, <laughs> yes. So historically, we've seen a great rise in hate crimes towards the Sikh community because of this misidentification, right? So it was worse immediately after 9-11. But then I'm, I don't really know what possibly increased that during this time period of 2020 to 2021. I, I'm, I'm not sure like what could have, yeah, been the cause of that. Like secular Sakai is saying, is it due to Hindutva supporters becoming more aggressive in the United States? Based on the information available, I have no reason to believe this. The reports don't really talk about um, like motivations or political dynamics in these senses most of the time. Um, and it wasn't even until recently, Sikhs weren't even categorized as their own group until very, very recently. Um, they were just classified as other for most of the time, even though they were being targeted in a very specific way. So and I'm why now because the the bigots were stupid always. So what happened recently? I know, right? And Is so it because we have more Sikhs now in the I don't know. They, uh, Without other evidence to lead me to believe otherwise, I'm going to base I'm going to assume that what's driving this is possibly the foundation of like racism and anti-Muslim bigotry that we've seen over the past 20 years. It's Trump. It's Trumpism taking over the United States. That's why it has increased. Yes, I think so. It's just racism increasing as I think this is what's happening. Okay. This is a hypothesis. I don't know if it's true. Okay. I'm just putting it forward. I'm very okay? skeptical of this hypothesis. I think race I think racism is just like becoming more um bold in the US. I mean, look at Kanye and everything else. Like how open people are about racism and i just think sikh people are the most visible when it comes to like they have the, their display of them being you know different is it's kind of like women with a job right we have two groups just of people say that yeah yeah is we have just two group of people that you could identify as bigots as okay that's different it's either a woman with a hijab or a man with a turban, right? So because they are the most visible other, I mm -hmm. think they will get the highest amount of uh, attention when it comes to rise of bigotry. So I think that might explain it. I just came yeah. up with that. Right. And it's easier to be hateful towards men than women, right? Women being seen as victim, you know, I think is being hateful towards men is more um, acceptable, you know, for people. So I think that's why maybe Sikh men are getting most of the attention. This is just a guess. I have no idea if this is true. It's a hypothesis. Yeah, I'd be like very yeah. curious to know more information about what's giving rise to this. Um, Rashid is saying, okay, let me talk about it like this. Say no, our men statistically Asians face, face hate crimes primarily from black Americans. Look it up. What does this have to do? Like, how how does what you're saying contradict what I'm saying? You're like, no, Rashid, talking about it no, being inspired by Trumpism. Yeah, but what does this got to do? I'm saying racism is peaking. This has nothing to do with what you're saying, does not negate anything that I'm saying. I think because people associate Trumpism with white people oh the asians who face hate crimes by black americans are mostly east asians mm -hmm. they're like mm, chinese or Kore korean korean mostly right korean or chinese or stuff like that i don't know about That's korean what... in in the san francisco bay area where we saw a 500 percent anti-asian hate crime rise in a single year it was mostly Chinese, but it, a lot yeah. of it, um, well, the Bay area is complicated and what was going on there was horrific. A lot of it was, um, like crimes of opportunity, um, and living it, it, it's because of the proximity of different neighborhoods and all this stuff. And, um, but some of it was, I watched a video of a group of kids, kids. One of them was 11 years old 
kicking a 70 year old Chinese woman in the face in the lobby of her own apartment. That's what's going on in San Francisco. Wait, you saw that? Not personally. I've seen the footage of it. I've seen the videos. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just last week, there was a like 80 year old Chinese woman who was kicked in the chest as a guy was walking down the stairs off the off the bus. Okay. So um, people target like old Asian women all the time. It, the stuff that goes on in San Francisco is crazy. I'm, hey, by the way, I might I want to also appreciate the FBI. Okay, not that many, you know, the fact that we have these reports like that, you know, that they take these things seriously enough to, you know, I mean, my, my, my standards are low. Okay. But globally, we don't, you know, many countries might try to no, everything is fine. We're kind of, we don't have these problems, right? But this this is a country where the FBI goes and be like, yeah, we have a discrimination problem, and here's a report. So I appreciate these reports coming out from the FBI. So thank you, FBI. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.